Hello and welcome to Folk from the Boat episode 109. I hope you're very well this week and thank you so much for bearing with me whilst I've been out of action with COVID. Um, but I'm out now. <laughs> it's really exciting to be going outside. I hope you're all staying very well and I hope you're having a really happy new year. Mine just feels kind of delayed but that's sort of the times isn't it and it's going to be good now. So the sun is shining and I thought I would take you on a little exploration since we can go out and we are in Amwell Nature Reserve. Let me just lock up. Let's go and see what we can see. Now we can step off the boat. When you're near waterways, you're always either in like wilderness or um, or really industrial places. And we're kind of, when we go a bit further, we'll reach a, a big factory. But for now, like, yeah, just the untouched areas. I always lose my head when like I go out for a walk and some weird guy with a camera starts <laughs> following me. <laughs> There's actually ice on this pond. Can you see it? This might sound a little bit strange, but I think my favorite season is winter because there's something so calm about it. Like with all of the leaves off the trees, I actually find the sort of different like subtle shades of brown really, really beautiful. Um, I think this is a good example. <laughs> I don't know, there's something, something very calm, quiet um, about it, perhaps even because it's not the obvious time to like, that sort of seems something a bit special about it, that only, we are only out in it if we, um, if we really want to be, whereas spring and summer are kind of for everyone. I guess living on a boat, in the spring and in the summer, I, t I can find it a little bit overwhelming because there are so many people going, uh, walking along the river and out on it and often kind of looking, looking into my boat. <laughs> so something about winter and yeah, going, going out in the cold and coming back home and being by the fire that always sort of speaks to me more. Speaking of which, shall we go back into that boat just there by the fire and sing a song. There's a couple of exciting things to tell you about this week. So the first one is that I've been shortlisted by Fatea Music Magazine as Instrumentalist of the Year. Like, wow, this is <laughs> completely incredible. <laughs> Um, and the results are coming in tomorrow evening, so think really nice thoughts. That will be the 14th of, uh, of January, Friday the 14th. So yeah, think, think nice thoughts for me tomorrow. It's just, it's too amazing to be, to be shortlisted. So, you know, that's, that's enough. <laughs> we'll see. I've got a couple of concerts this, uh, this weekend as well. So on Sunday, Sunday 16th, I'm at the Ready Folk Club. That's in Reading, Berkshire, if you happen to be in the south of England. And on Monday evening, I'm at the Green Note in Camden in London. So if you can come along to those, those are solo shows, that would be amazing to see you. This, uh, if you can't, if you're not, uh, not in the vicinity, then I have a online concert actually, which is with my group. So I have a group, Wild Roses, and we're exploring British medieval Renaissance folk music. So we did a concert last year back when our US tour was postponed again and our European tour was postponed. We went into a beautiful 14th century church and recorded a concert. So that can be seen on Wild Roses uh, YouTube. So Wild Roses are W-I-L-D-E, Wild Death Roses, just being a bit oldie, you know and we're wildroses.com, but you can, you can also find it on the YouTube channel. So there's like an hour and a quarter long concert there. And I'm just thinking if you're, if you're here in the future rather than this week, um, the, the uh, details for, the, for my gigs are on anatam.co.uk anyway. It might not be these ones, but there's 
all the uh, all the details are going to be there. So I thought even though I'm um, shortlisted for instrumentalist of the year, I would do an a cappella song this evening. <laughs> I guess the voice is also one of my instruments and it just I just feel so inspired to sing this song today because of the beautiful scenery around where the boat is. So it's called The Snow It Melts The Soonest. I feel like the person who's singing this song is probably in love with the wrong person, but that's not an uncommon occurrence. <laughs> it's just got so much lovely imagery in it though, so... Yeah, feels like the right song for the time of year. So here is the snow, it melts the soonest. Oh, the snow, it melts the soonest when the winds begin to sing. And the corn, it ripens fastest when the frosts are setting in. And when a young man tells me that my face shall soon forget, before we part a water crown, he'd be fain to follow it yet. Oh, the snow would melt the soonest when the winds begin to sing. And the swallow skims without a thought as long as it is spring. But when spring blows and winter goes, my love, then you'll be free. With all your pride to follow me, where it cross the world to remain. Oh, the snow would melt the soonest when the winds begin to sing. And the bee that flew when summer shone in winter cannot stay. I've seen a young man's anger melt between the night and morn. And it's surely not a harder thing to attain a young man's so never say me farewell here, no farewell I'll receive. For you shall meet me at the star and kiss and take your leave. And I'll wait here till the woodcock crows and the martlet takes its wing. For the snow it melts the soonest. When the winds begin 